the Aya Neo 2S is their best selling handheld ever, right after this. Now in a world of Steam Decks and ROG Allies, the Aya Neo is closest to the ROG Ally, giving you a portable Windows device. One of the differences between this one and the ROG Ally is that you can configure it to whichever specs that you would like to have, from RAM all the way down to capacity of storage. You can configure yours to have 64 gigabytes of RAM and up to four terabytes of storage as well. But keep in mind, these changes and configurations will increase the price as well. The ROG Ally starts at roughly about 700 US dollars, whereas the Aya Neo 2S starts at roughly about 1000 US dollars. There are a couple of differences. The resolution instead of 1080p is 1200 p the battery life a little bit stronger, 50 watt hours instead of the 40. It does support the 7840U processor as well. The only problem is that every time an Aya Neo is released, does well in the market, another one is already on its way into the crowd. Now, of course, the Aya Neo 2S is great, but they've already announced the Aya Neo Air 1S, which is also a 7840 based handheld, but it's much more compact and on the way. Now, if you're one of those that is looking for the latest and greatest powerful, most powerful handheld available on the market, this company's for you as they're always releasing, innovating and creating the latest one. And if you want the flagship model, it's the Aya Neo Kun. Eight inch display and lots of different configurations that you can set up and start playing. But until the Aya Neo Air 1S is released, keep on gaming. That's it for this one. Hope you all enjoy. Take care. See you all in the next one.